Welcome to Alistair Aquatics, I hope you're keeping well. In this video, I'm going to be doing an update on my friend's aquarium. Now, I set up this aquarium for my friend Jamie around six months ago, and I wanted to do a quick little update just to show you guys how the tank is doing. He's got the tank cycled and has had fish in there for quite a few months now. He's got a community set up, so he's got his main focal fish, which is his male fighting fish you see on the left of the screen right now. He's also got some cardinal and rummy nose tetras, and he also has a few Amano shrimp. These guys are really awesome for keeping the tank clean and eating any leftover food. He's also got some Corydoras for bottom dwellers, and he also has an albino bristlenose pleco. So I think the tank is looking great. I think Jamie's done an absolutely fantastic job at maintaining this tank over the last six months. The plants have really grown in. Nuisance algae has been kept to a real minimum and the tank is just ticking over smoothly. From talking to him, he does weekly water changes and he also cleans the glass. The tank is a 60p WIO tank, I believe, um, and it's low iron. So as you can see from this video, the glass is really clear and it's really high quality so it's looking good he's um, got the tank running off a small internal filter and a small heater just to keep the temperature correct for the fish there's also a small aquel light uh, the light originally was something I thought we were gonna have to upgrade down the line um, you're about to see it pop onto screen now but um, the lights done a really good job I think because this tank is so low energy and the plants things like cryptocrines uh, microsorum are such slow growing plants they don't need high intensity light and this little aqua L light does a really good job even though the tank has a 60 centimeter footprint so I think this tanks awesome I think it just goes to show that this is Jamie's first tank and you know even as a beginner you can have really great results you don't have to overcomplicate it and even a low-tech planted tank can look absolutely stunning so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, give it a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, and also hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And remember, no matter what state your tank's in, just take some time to sit back and enjoy it. I think that's something we always forget in this hobby. Until next time, guys, take it easy.